Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to do a product review. It is long overdue. I've been using this product for about, I hope not a month yet, but a couple of weeks, at least like two to three weeks. And it is none other than the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen, Growth, and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. Yes, it is a mouthful, but um, this is what it looks like. I got this product from Walgreens, I believe, or Rite Aid. They were having a buy one, get one free, so of course, you know, I had to jump on that. Now, I have a leave-in conditioner that I use. You guys know it's my Kara's Daughter Black Vanilla Leave-In Conditioner. It's a spray. It is the bomb. I love it to death. Um, but I wanted to try something a little bit more creamy, not of the liquid solution, so I tried this out. Now, right now, I have braids in my hair, protective style, but, um, and I'll... I, I think I've done a video about these before. Not these particular ones, but just about box braids in general. If I did, I'll leave that link down below. If I did not, thumbs up this video if you'd like to see um, a video about box braids. Anyway, so first thing I thought about this product is, in general, I love the size. Um, I love the container. It's just a 16 ounce container. So it's a lot of products in here. And as you can see, um, I didn't really use that much containers so far, that much uh, con product so far. Um, the consistency is very thin, but but creamy. So you feel like you're getting, um, you know, a bang for your buck. I have um, I have very thick hair, and so I'm usually product heavy. But for this leave-in conditioner, I didn't feel the need to be so heavy on it. I used maybe a dime cent amount in each section of my hair maybe a quarter size amount in each section of my hair, but I still felt like all of my hair got moisturized, I focused on the ends, you know, I thought it did a really good job. And the reason I, another reason, well, a main reason why I picked this up is because it had the strengthen, growth, and restore. And as everyone knows, I just transitioned from locks to back to free hair. And so I did a lot of manipulation with my hair when taking out my locks. So I'm really trying to make sure that I keep my hair uh, strong, and that it doesn't, um, it's that it's not prone to breakage and things like that. So I thought that was really, really a good quality of this. It smells um, kind of sweet. And it smells like the shea butter that's in it. It has shea butter, peppermint, and keratin. And I know I heard that anytime you see keratin, um, it's a good sign that it's going to provide strength and um, it'll protect your hair from breakage. So I thought that was really awesome. And just like all Shea Moisture products, no sulfates, no parabens, um, no mineral oils, no synthetic fragrances, and it hasn't been tested, no synthetic colors, and it hasn't been tested on animals. I think that's really, really great. Um, yeah, I think the only thing I would change about, it smells really good actually. The only thing I would change about this product is the fact that it's in a jar. It's kind of hard, like if I'm in the shower and I want to apply this to my hair after I wash it, it's going to be, it's a little hard to open with wet hands and a pump would have been really, really nice. But then I f figured a pump may not get all of it out. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. But those are my thoughts about the product. I am not, I feel like this is going to take me a while to use. So I'll probably end up maybe like another two months. I'll keep my braids in for like a month and a half, maybe a month. Uh, so after that, I'll probably use this again, but I, I like it. Oh, it also says it's good for natural, chemically processed, color treated, and heat styled hair. I also have been putting my hair in stretched out method, um, styles, so I've been using the blow dryer a lot, so that's another reason why I picked this up. Anyway, I think it's great. I'd probably give it a, out of a 10, a seven? Yeah, seven's good. So, anyway, guys, thank you for watching my video. If you like this um, type of video, don't forget to thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to my channel. It costs you zero zero pennies. I appreciate all the love, and I'll see you guys in my next video.